Welcome to Coach's Corner here at Gold Canyon. I'm Russell Herndon, PGA professional, and with me today is current Utah player, PGA player of the year, Haley Sturgeon. Um, Haley's in town to work on some events before she goes back to Utah, but we had a practice round yesterday at Sun City South, and Sun City South has a lot of elevated greens. And so one of the things that uh, we worked on yesterday and I think is a great lesson for y'all is how do we hit into what we call zone three and four? Um, how do we hit elevated shots in order to be able to get a ball to stop or, you know, so that it doesn't run? You know, our greens here like Sidewinder 9, uh, Sidewinder 10 are both elevated. And if we hit a low pitch into that green, it's going to roll. And so today we're going to talk about how do we, you know, talk, we work through elevation of the greens. Okay, so now, you know, when I'm thinking about, when I'm thinking about, you know, a normal pitch shot, all right, I think about, you know, kind of in the middle of my stance, and I just swing the golf club and things of that nature, and I've got 20-yard targets out here, so I'm going to just take the club back and swing, okay? I think you're, you're kind of about the same thing? Yep. Okay, so now if we're going to try to hit into zone three, which is going to be an elevated shot, right. a little bit elevated, more elevated, what are you going to try to do with that? Um, I'm going to move the ball, you know, for a regular pitch shot, it's going to be right in the center. Okay. If I want to go a little bit higher, I'm going to move it maybe a ball forward in my stance. Okay. Um, but that's adding a little loft okay. in our club. So rather than having a pressed hands press forward, I'm going to have that more neutral, more in the front of my stance. I like it. Okay. Um, and in order to get that distance, my stock shot for 20 yards would be about right here. Right. Um, but if I have a little bit more loft, I maybe need to swing a little higher. Okay. So that way I can get it there. Okay. Are um, we hitting it hard? Are we trying to hit it harder? Or are we just trying to get that from the length of the swing? Me personally, I'm not a fan of trying to hit it harder. Um, just because I know myself where I'm going to jump on it. And I've turned a 20 yard shot into a 35 yard shot, putting myself in more trouble. Um, so all I'm thinking about is getting to that place and swinging through rather than trying to hit it harder. Okay, I so think you, that's going to be more consistent. So you said something very interesting there. You said getting it to a place. Are you feeling the place or are you kind of taking it to a certain, you know, uh, a ca you know clock position? How do you, what do you? It's, you know, kind of both, but it's a clock position of, you know, when you're practicing is you get into a mode of like, okay, this is my 10 yard spot. This is my 20 yard spot. This is, and so you're getting where you can feel these positions, but it is like on a clock. And so if I'm trying to hit it, you know, not harder, but if I need to get a little bit more distance because of the height, right, right. I need to move up that position on the clock. Okay. And then now if we wanted to really not hit a flop shot, but if we wanted to really, you know, hit this thing at a really steep angle so that it comes down on the green, um, you know, because you know, the greens are narrow. Right. They were kind of narrow at, mm -hmm. uh, at Sun City South. Um, and they're narrow, certainly on 10, right. that if we, if we don't hit it high enough, it's going to roll off the back. So now what are we going to do if we're going to try to hit a really, not a flop shot, but a super, uh, you know, zone four. So to get to zone four, um, I'm going to take it off kind of in position, position where my driver would be in, on the inside of that front foot. Okay. And you know, naturally your hands move forward to match that position, but I'm going to keep it back, you know, maybe neutral, maybe a hair back. Okay. Cause that's really, you can see, I don't have to open up my stance or anything to get it flat. All I'm doing is moving my hands back, which adds loft to that club. Okay. So you're not, you're not thinking about opening up the face. Like no. so many people talk about, we're kind of keeping that face as square Just as we keeping talk. It square keeping it square to your target. The more elements that you add to it, the more complicated the golf shot is. Right. Right. So if I can keep it here, move my hands, okay. I've just created a loft, like more loft on my club. Okay. And all I did was move my hands. So now when, when you do that, do you still have to not take it back, just even a little bit further? Just a little bit further. A little bit we've further. Added, okay. you know, this is standard, added maybe four or five degrees of loft. Okay. And so now I need to take it maybe to my 40 yard place. Well, 40 yard place for yes, a 20 yard for shot. For a 20 yard shot. For a 20 yard I'm shot. adding twice the loft. Okay. So now you know now when you when you return the club back down into impact uh, you know we've always talked about you know impact position where your hands are forward or your knees and things of that you know trying to get into a, an impact position which you know for a stock shot you know is probably true right, right. we're going to right there but do you return the club back to the do you try to return the club back to your setup position yes okay. you want that club head to slide before your hands because we're trying to get it up okay if we come down like this we're just de de lofting the club and we're going to come low and it's going to keep rolling. All right, so now you mentioned something else there, you know, about getting into the ground. How do you how do you think about the bounce or do you think about the bounce of a club when we're trying to hit this kind of shot? 
yes and no because I tried to keep it simple. So all I'm thinking about is just letting this club glide across the grass Love rather it. than digging in and taking a divot. Love it. So I just want to glide, you know, nice and smooth, just like a sand shot. Back up here and swing. Exactly. All right. All right. You want to try a couple? Sure. All right. So all right. let's do a stock shot first. Okay. Okay. 20 yards? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. First swing of the day. There you go. Perfect. Right on the number. Very nice. Within about three inches of the pin. Okay. So now, if we're going to go up one level, okay. we're going to go up into zone three. Right. Okay. Now, what are we going to take? We're going to move it slightly, a little bit slightly forward. Slightly forward. Okay. So now, now I'm, you know, I, you know, when I think about it, of, okay, here's center. My, this is more like irons, maybe hybrids position. So just one ball forward. I'm going to move my hands, keep them in neutral rather than pressing them forward. And I'm going to take this back just a little bit further than I would for my stock shot. Oh, that is so pretty. Very, very nice. Okay. And then one more. Let's see if we can get it to the zone four. Get it okay. super, super high. And then maybe we'll entertain people by hitting to see if we can hit a, a tight life flop shot. Perfect. I think. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So I've got my ball on the inside of that foot. Hands are at neutral, maybe slightly back. Just kind of let the clubs just slide right underneath it. Okay. Right. So now if we're going to try to hit, if you're going to, if you're going to entertain the very thought, you know, I, I don't know. You know, it's kind of a tough shot right here to be thinking about a, a tight lie flop shot. Right. Okay. So now how would you hit a flop shot whenever, you know, on a shot like this? What are your, what's your thought? My thought is when I'm hitting a flop shot, I do, I want to try and get that club flat. Right. So I do open it just slightly um, while using those same components that we were just talking about, moving the hands back to neutral. So I'm going to open that just slightly. Okay. And I am going to have a little bit open stance, so that allows me to really come down and underneath it. Okay, so that interesting because I'm a little bit different. I mean, okay. I like to have, I'm actually, I don't, I, I actually flip the wrist through in order to be able to hit the ball even higher. Okay. Okay. I'm not, you know, I, I don't go here and just hold. I'm here and then I'm literally taking and letting the club kind flip of go through. back vertical. Okay through in order to get that club sliding and really, really steep and high. Okay. Okay. And so, I wonder, you know, it's different for everybody. And for me, I've had four wrist surgeries. Ah, so that could be the component that that's we, difficult for me that to flip we don't the want wrist. We don't want to flip the wrist. Right. So we can, so we can still get it up in the air, but we're just not going to be able to get that really fast spin and things of that nature. Right. right. Okay. So I think it'd be interesting. Let's show them. I'm going to do demonstrate my way. Okay. And then I'd like to see your way. All well. right. That's fine. So I've got that hands neutral. That club is open. Yep. I'm here. Oh, beautiful. See how high that thing went? Nice. So Even still, you got a little bit a of you got a little bit, a little bit at the bottom but of it. But when you're you? yes. Yeah. When I'm watching you though, you're really get your wrist. Yeah. Going. <laughs> so so yeah, for me, you know, and I think about, you know, a shot like this. Yeah, I'm thinking about I want to be here high and then really just crank. Yeah, you see how that? You know, I mean and this is a, this is for a twenty yard flop shot. I mean, I'm really, I'm really swinging. Really swinging. I'm really swinging. And that's an important note too. Is people ask all the time, how do you get the spin on your ball with these high shots? And it's speed. It's speed. It's absolutely. all about speed. And so you have to make these big. And I get a lot of time for my students is, well, if I can't have that much speed when I'm hitting a twenty yard shot, but you have to if you want that spin. Exactly. If we want to spin the ball, the, the, the more spin that, that's going to create off this, the face is here. Not naturally, we want clean grooves and all that kind right. of stuff. But it's speed. Yes. It's speed. Now, speed where? At the ball. At the ball. At yes. the ball. Speed at the ball. Correct. So even when I'm going up here to here, there's my speed right, right down at the bottom of the bottom of it. Right. right? So we don't all want right. to speed up our tempo. No. It's more, it's, it's at the it's, ball. It's here and then at the ball. Correct. So let's see if we can open this face up and pray a little bit. Beauty. That's not bad. Pretty nice good. High, pretty good high. Deep. You know, about 20, 22 yard, 20 yard start. Yep. Okay. So there we have it. That's Coach's Corner for this week. Um, 
I want to thank Haley for joining me here. But and if you've got any questions, you know, see one of us in the golf shop. But when we're working on pitching, you know, we have to move the ball position, get it higher. Think about getting into different zones. We're not talking about a straight stock shot here. We need to get the ball in the air, get the ball in the air. That's why I think this is a, one of the most critical lessons that we can do here um, for you is to teach you to get the ball up, up, up and higher in order to be able to get the ball stopped. Okay. Thanks for coming out and watching us and we'll talk again soon. Thanks.